Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at a ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 device. Uh, and this is going to be supporting your T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint, so all four major US carriers, so that's a big bonus and a good thing for, you know, all you US carrier users. And before we do begin, I just want to apologize and say a big sorry that the lack of ROM reviews for the Galaxy S3 device, I have been so busy with the Galaxy S4 and pushing out all the videos, but I've finish just about every video for the Galaxy S4 so you should be seeing a lot more Galaxy S3 videos uh, at least on a weekly basis for the ROM reviews. Um, just want to apologize and get that out there um, so you should be seeing more of these videos for ROM reviews for Galaxy S3 device. Um, so don't think I left the Galaxy S3 um, videos or I sold my Galaxy S3. It's still here and I'm not going to be leaving this anytime soon so you know um, keep watching it and um, you'll be seeing more of these videos. Alright, so as long as we got that out of the way, let's go and talk about this ROM. And as you can see, it's pretty nice, pretty colorful. Um, let's go. And as you can see, boom, nice, nice, nice. Notifications, it's all there. Um, it's really nice theme. Um, and this theme is called Key Lime Pie. And now if we go into settings right away, um, we dive into themes. Um, I'm actually going to show you a theme. <laughs> I think this is the first time I actually showed you a theme uh, via, uh, via uh, applying it via uh, theme chooser. Um, so this is your normal theme, you know, pretty basic. Um, it kind of gets boring after a while, you know. Uh, now you have the Key Lime Pie theme, which is pretty cool. And I just apply it. It comes pre-installed, so you don't have to download it anywhere. So it's fine. And you get this pretty cool, sick look in your settings. Um, if you go into messaging... It's nice right there, you know, it's really nice. I love it. It makes, it really refreshes the UI and how it all looks with the nice colors. And obviously this Key Lime Pie isn't the actual thing. It's just um, a beta or, you know, a, a fake thing. Um, it's just what you might expect, <laughs> you know. It's just something that, to get your hopes high, you know, get you thinking about Key Lime Pie and all that. Um, so if we dive into About Phone, um, you've got AOKP into here as well, if you are wondering. Um, you're running an Android version 4.2.2, baseband kernel version, all that. Um, just one thing to note is that this is beta. So as far as I know, I haven't seen any major problems that you can't use this as a daily driver. Uh, but be sure, just be aware that this is a beta uh, RAM right now. It's not official yet. It's not 100%. Um, is this beta? He's testing it all out. So just keep that in mind. There could be a little few bugs here and there. Uh, but overall, I haven't seen any problems so far. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, just be aware of that. Um, so as you can see, a lot of it's themed messages is themed. <laughs> Actually, not a lot. Um, but this whole UI, that's just nice. I just keep looking at that, that nice um, Google Play triangle right there. It looks really nice. and I like how it's blurred out. Very nice. Wallpapers. Um, let's see if there are any extra wallpapers. Um, so no, there aren't any extra wallpapers. Just your stock normal wallpapers. Um, if we dive into settings, um, I'll, I'll show you those halo heads too in just a little bit. Um, if you dive into settings, you also get the AOKP ROM control features. So the full-on ROM, uh, ROM control from AOKP. So yeah, let's go into general UI and just take a look at a few things. So custom boot animation, or you can disable it. Um, if you want a faster boot up, go and disable it. Um, it helps with the boot up, not by a lot, but you know, a little bit. Um, you can do nav bar, all that, 180 degree rotation. So now it should work, 180. It works all, all angles. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so all angles do work. So that, that is nice. Wake up on charge, CGR screen off. So your basic AOKP settings that I have reviewed in earlier AOKP RAM reviews and other ROMs that do incorporate AOKP as well. So you do guys know the basics. You can go ahead and add navigation bars. Um, one problem I found with this ROM so far, and I hope this is just a beta problem, is if you go into hybrid settings and if you apply one of these, oh, let me show you. There we go. Um, if you apply one of these, uh, let's say if I apply st uh, uh, Fablet UI, then the navigation bar does show up. And then if you choose stock UI back, it still stays there and it's going to stay there forever. Um, I tried doing a factory reset, clear the cache, um, clear the data cache. It still stayed there. I had to install a brand new ROM and then reinstall this one to actually get rid of the nav bar, the actual uh, software keys. So just keep that in mind. I really wouldn't touch this. And even on Paranoid Android Colors, I do believe it does pop up too. So just be aware that um, you may run into navigation bar problems using the hybrid settings. That's the only thing I found um, so far that's a problem. Um, you also get illusions, bleh, illusion settings. So you got pie control if you do prefer that. And you also get halo settings. So let me show you that. Just a quick look. I have my Gmail right here to give you an example. So if you go and tap on this little halo head right here, um, you get your notifications right here, which is much more efficient. So if I go and hold it down and slide it over, as you can see, it says 23 new messages and then new updates available. So if I go into my Gmail, it opens it in a brand new 
over the application I'm running. So I'll show you. Um, if I'm running on messages, I just go and select this. And let's, uh, my Gmail went away because I already selected it. So if I do a uh, market, it's actually going to open in a brand new app. And on my Wi-Fi and data is turned off. I actually have no SIM card in my data. Um, so it won't load. But as you can see, it opens in a brand new app. You won't be disrupted fully because you have a messaging app open. So if you're playing a game, very efficient. You know, you can just pause the game, go into the app, and then exit out very, very easily. Um, I like it. Very, very efficient. Some of you guys don't like it. Eh, it's all based on preference, I believe. Um, so that's really nice. Um, if we go back into the illusion, uh, illusion settings, I keep messing that up. <laughs> and we go into illusion settings. We can take a little, little bit more. Expand desktop if you'd like. So if we, let's see if that works. So yeah, as you can see, this beta settings, all that, are not everything is fully working. Um, it can be used as a daily driver if you do prefer so. Um, the basic stuff is going to work, but some of these things may not work. Expand on desktop and a lot of other things aren't working. Uh, but just something to you know, take a look at and sh see. And you also have these uh, cool things, breathing SMS and breathing missed calls, which is pretty cool. So it kind of glows. Um, it will glow on your notifications. So right up there on your status bar, that's pretty cool. It kind of glows. So it just reminds you they have something waiting for you there. Um, you also have all these other things, you know, headset, launch music app and all that, hardware keys if you want to change the functionality of each. Um, but that's about wraps it up for this um, Illusion ROM with the Key Lime Pi theme and those Halo heads. Um, oh, one more thing I want to show you is if you go and tap on that, as you can see you got that nice cool color. So that's nice. <laughs> so that's what I just want to show you there. Um, but that is Illusion ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint. All links are down below for each ROM. Just be sure to download a specific ROM for your specific carrier and model number. Um, and that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like this video by clicking on the bottom left-hand corner as that does really help me out a lot, and you'll be seeing more of these Galaxy S3 ROM review videos in the very new feature in about a week too. So be sure to enjoy this ROM. Um, just be aware there are a couple bugs here and there as it is in beta, so just be aware of those problems. And if you get, uh, you get a problem with this, maybe you get stuck on Blue Loop or something, you can go and contact me via Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links are down below, and like I mentioned earlier, link to the ROM is down below. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Peace.